okay okay so if that looks like what you are interested in watching then sweetheart you need to keep on watching so hey loves welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time you are welcome you might want to click that subscribe button because i'll be bringing more content like this now in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create quality instagram videos i mean look at what i just created using my mobile phone and iphone 7 you can do it as well so you we'll get into the video right now <laughs> So the first thing I usually do is that I always like to have the song I want to use because I love to use beats. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I love to use beats and I love to vibe to the beat. I love to edit with the beats so everything just blends together. Most times I would have it playing in the background. So I feel like while I'm doing this tutorial, at some point I will switch over to voiceover so that I can be listening to the beats and be vibing along <laughs> do you get what i'm saying but yeah this video is beginner friendly when i mean beginner friendly i mean beginner friendly you only have your mobile phone and sunlight and also i don't have a tripod so my phone right now is just on my window nothing no, no tripod to hold it to keep it in place i just Put it on the window and start filming now i need you to watch the video i have on how to film quality videos on your mobile phone that video would explain everything i'm about to talk about now if you've watched that video you know that i usually lock the exposure on my face so that my face is the focus of the whole video but now this is the object we want to um sort of capture so try to lock the exposure on the product now as i took it back if you notice carefully it was clearer than bringing it forward so when you are filming do not bring the product so close to the camera it just makes everything blurry So this is just me applying the product in a very engaging way. I mean, I'm trying to play around, you know, just try to play around with the whole process basically and you would make sure that, and that, that makes it look very engaging and fun to watch. Now this is me showing my foundation. I like to try different angles of the products because recently I have been obsessed. I'm getting so obsessed with details. So I want to make sure that you guys grab all the details. And now this is me applying my um, foundation. Just look for different ways you can do things that would make it look engaging and make it look, you know, fun to watch. So this is me applying my foundation and then I'm going to go ahead to start blending my foundation now i always record in batches because of space and because i always want to check the um, clip which i just recorded and make sure that everything is good the audio is good the video itself is good the lighting is okay so i record in batches so here i am just pausing and then i'll come back and show you guys that i have finished blending my foundation because i mean it's in it's a one minute instagram video so i need just like at least um let's say one minute or two minutes of each clip so that way it's easier for me to edit and it's easier for me to work with now this is just me showing this foundation and um, i like to just play around with it if it's something that has a screw or something that has a cap i just like to play around with it try to open it up and then that way when i'm editing and when you're seeing this video it's a little bit engaging because i mean there are some movements going on or i'm not just there you know just stagnant you know make a little bit of movement and you would see that it is more engaging and more fun to work with now this is just me applying the um the foundation 
as my concealer anyways <laughs> but then um i if you notice from the first video from the final video i didn't use much of this part so that means not everything that you film would be used now i like to have a lot of options to choose from so that way I can pick what is going to fit with the beats I am going for. So I try different angles, I try different things just so that I have a lot of options to work with while I'm editing. Now this is just me blending again. I'm just going to blend as much as I can and then go off camera and come back and you know let you guys know that I'm done blending. So this is me applying a second concealer just to brighten up my eyes on the eyes. Now I'm just going to blend that out. Go to the other side have a little bit of eye contact eye contact is very important eye contact is very important it is so important please if you are not connecting with your audience if you have not been connecting with your audience you need to start connecting with your audience they need to look right into your eyes now i have a video where i talked about that i'll put the link you need to connect with your audience you need to collect connect with your audience now this is me blending having eye contact even if it's for one second two seconds three seconds just make sure that your eye is fixed on your lens so that way your audience can kind of like relate so this is me again trying to show some details trying to play around with the product moving it here and there trying to get like good angles and all of that and then after showing the product i mean the conventional way of doing makeup you show the product and then you apply the products here yeah? so try different things try different angles so that way you have a lot of options to work with now if you see the way i came in with this product i came in from the side that way it is like you're you're going to your eyes are going to follow my hand movement you get so try different ways of bringing the products into the picture and now this is just me um you know trying to blend out my whole face now this is um me doing my eyebrows i'm just going to do this part go off camera and complete it and then come back and show you guys the final result just like now and then i'm going to be blending blending my concealer just so that you can see go off camera finish everything and come back now a lot of people do this where they are showing us how they are blending, and then this is how you would normally do your makeup so you need to get good angles when you are trying to show us that you are doing your whole eyebrow don't just be looking at your mirror and you know forget that you are doing a video for an audience so try to get good angles where we can see what you are doing now this is just me showcasing another product and i didn't use this part in the final video because i mean i had so much to work with for a one minute video but then just have a lot of things to play around with while you are editing so now this is me blending out my eyeshadow and just getting everything you know in shape everything looks blended properly another thing you need to make sure that your your makeup too is on flick you know make sure that your makeup is on flick so that people can stay till the end that's like another key thing to do now this is me vibing to my bits you know i play around this is like this is one of the things you guys don't usually see but i always play around and yeah so this is me showing that i'm done with my eyes just trying to like close the eyeshadow palette to show that okay oh, i am done filming eye parts like I'm done with my eyes now this is me blending out the whole um, powder I'm blending out everything so that everything looks very seamless if you watch my YouTube videos I'm all about blending in makeup so everything needs to look well blended this is the highlighter and so I put this on and I got this vibe like it was so pigmented and you know I was so excited and I used that in my video as you already saw so yeah this is just me applying my highlighter and you know try to smile you know let your personality come through in the video because I mean people need to connect with you so try to make sure that your personality comes true make eye contact again no matter how small try to make eye contact now this is me showcasing this lip gloss now i 
spend a lot of time here because the way the lip gloss is it is glass so at some point the light would hit at a certain way that would not really show the detail of the product so i try to keep it there and just try to film for as long as i can so that i can get good shots of the product now this is me using a lip pencil i'm just going to show you guys the process of me applying it not from start like i've already applied it so i just show you guys that okay this is what i'm using and this is what it looks like now this is me again playing around you know trying to make everything look very engaging and then this is me applying the lip gloss now i go in with the next one and just apply that as well it's just me trying to blend out everything together so yeah okay so now that we are done filming what you want to do is you want to get those angles you want to slay this look literally get your best sides make sure the highlight is popping you can vibe along to the song you know just anything that you can use towards the end because the end your outro needs to be catchy your outro needs to be mad so you have to slay those angles play around a little i play a lot <laughs> i actually play a lot but I never use these parts at least not all of them so yeah so this is how I create those engaging contents you see on Instagram it's pretty easy just follow these few steps and you're good to go sprinkle sprinkle some sass in it you know just sprinkle a little bit of attitude <laughs> subscribe then i mean i just spilled all the tea so please 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 hit the subscribe button give you guys all my tips all my secrets all the things that i use to you know get that reaction from you guys you know i'm going to drop in more things like this to help elevate your content i really hope that this video was very detailed simple to grab simple to understand and at the same time i offered value please give this video a thumbs up you know anything relating to content creation that you want me to talk about then please let me know in the comment section so if you are watching this right now take screenshots Put it on your Instagram story, put it on Twitter, anywhere, anywhere. I would really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.